It's 52 past 2, good afternoon. People are still surfing. Swell's a little bit messier, the wind's picked up, but we had a good surf this morning. Got a guy down here, can't quite see. Yeah, over the, the gap down there. Couple of dudes over here just having a bit of a, bit of a kick around. This morning, for the first time ever, I got dropped in on. Someone Jay Bostoned me, and I want to talk a little about that. Um, you don't Jay Boston someone, and to those that don't know, it's riding someone else's wave, right? You don't do it. Literally, you don't do it, and figuratively, you don't do it. The reason you don't do it, I guess, at this particular break here, the northern point of Culborough Beach, the reason you don't do it, and this is going to make more sense um, if you see the visuals. So I do have a wave a day video coming, which shows the video of this. And I'll link to that there. I'll put a timestamp link there so you can go straight to the spot. But the reason you don't do this, um, number one, is politeness, good manners, and not being a dick. The second reason, in this case up here at the northern end, and you see this happen to me, it forced me to not be able to ride the wave where I wanted to, and that's the safe area in the sense that in front of me is the reef and shallow and that's where you take off on because that's where the wave breaks but then you quickly hit left and continue to move across the wave into the deeper water I suppose where the wave continues to break rolling in towards the beach that's how a point break works now if someone drops in on you further down the line you're forced to stay in that area which I was and I ended up smashing my rock my feet on the rocks and my ass and tumbling through the shallows because this gentleman dropped in on me and basically blocked off that left section and it has never happened to me before I, I mean when I used to surf here just off the front you never had people so there was never a problem but up there I guess it's kind of like one section and I'm, I'm only just getting the confidence to take off on that rock to start with so it scared the shit out of me to be honest I didn't say anything to the guy that was my last wave that was my fifth last wave actually that's one more wave that happened five times and this was a big wave and before that, him and I had been tagging each wave. Like he'd take one, I'd take one. We were having a good chat. He's a nice guy. I'm sure he's a decent dude. I just think at that point he should have pulled out and I should have got onto that left section successfully, which I would have, and avoided tumbling through the shallows and banging my feet up, which, yeah. I don't know, like um, I'm not gonna say anything if I see the guy again. If he sees this video or that video and he wants to have a chat about it, fine, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad about it. I'm just saying that's an, ex, an ex, that's an extremely clear reason why you don't ride someone else's wave. You don't drop in on somebody. It's, it's there's danger involved, and I didn't think about that in the in the sense of, I thought it'd be like, ah, oh, that's my wave, man. Shit, you've got it. No, but there's actual, it it changed my direction of my wave of my ride, and therefore I wound up getting hurt. Not cool. Anyway, blah, 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 Sunday was beautiful. Everybody was getting good waves up there. Is it still on up there right now? It wouldn't be on right now. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, no, there's still some sets coming in there. Oh, wow. There'd still be dudes up there too. Yeah, there was like about 25 people up there this morning. It was awesome. Unfortunately, Sam's injured. Uh, fin chop, nothing to do with the drop-in or anything. Nothing to do with the shallow rocks and the reef, but yeah. Not fun being injured. I hope he's okay tomorrow. Maybe he might have had three or four days off, maybe. Look at this big mum 